I just got the coolest toy ever! <laughs> Let me try that. Ow! Oh! Oh! Ow, my coccyx! Dude, you suck! It's not me, it's my shoes! Prove it then. Alright, I'll modify some shoes and then next week, We'll, uh, we'll have a race to test our speed, agility, and jumping powers. Prowess. Prowries. Prowess? Powderist. T prowess? Do you even know what that means? No, but whoever loses the race has to dress up like an elf and sing a love song to a random girl. Deal. Alright, well then we're wasting valuable shoe modifying time. See you next week's race, loser. Hey, how your shoes coming along? Good! Hi, I'm Dale Thomas. And I'm Tom Daleson. Welcome to the first annual Speed, Agility, and Jumping Prowess Competition. Or Satch, for short. Right, and it looks like the competitors are ready to go. The crowd is just going wild here, Tom. Ah! And they should be, Dale. Yeah. The loser has to dress like an elf and sing a love song in public, so the stakes are high. And they're off. And now they're coming up to the random junk hurdle. Oh my god, oh, I've geez, never... what is that? I have huh? never seen anyone jump like that before. And here comes Anthony. Oh, jeez, he's doing really not that good. Oh, wow, that was... Wow, hurt. look at that. Oh, jeez, you can't even clear one single thing, Tom. And now Ian's on to the push-a-baby up a steep hill competition. And here comes Anthony, but apparently due to budget cuts, there's no baby still for Anthony, so he's just gonna have to roll that thing up the hill. And Ian's making his way Catch down the hill. Anthony struggles his way up. What will Ian run into next? Let's see right here. And it is his okay, ex-girlfriend trying to rekindle a relationship. Wrong. Anthony finally makes it to the top. And oh, what a kick. Oh. I say so. Yes, no, and it seems as though Anthony's just passed Ian and taking the lead. Give me your number. Oh, uh, this woman seems to be right. persistent. She won't give it up. Yeah, what is Ian writing right here? What can... Oh, my God, it's a fake phone go. number. Ew, and she thanks. bought it. Oh, what an idiot. And Anthony's repairing his shoe on the sideline. I'm not surprised. It looks like it was made by an eight-year-old with no artistic vision. Or any vision at all. <laughs> and Ian's at the very last event. 20 spins and then a very dizzy dash to the finish line. Anthony appears to be catching up. Oh, and Ian is going in the wrong direction. Oh, what an idiot. Where could he possibly be going? And Anthony's up to that. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> oh, I don't need Oh, Ian almost met the same fate as Susan Jones. What happened to her? She got uh, hit by a car? No, she just has an abnormally flat face. Anthony appears to be going into some sort of tool factory and wow, he looks like oh. a real tool now. Well, he looks nothing like you, Tom. You shut up, Dale. And the two of them are neck and neck. Who's going to cross the finish line first? Will it be Anthony with his crappy shoes or Ian with his shiny new one. Oh, what's this? Ian has tripped it. Oh, he just crossed the finish line. He has won the race. And yeah. what has he won, Tom? Yeah, that's He's right. won pride, that's Dale. Right. Right. He's won what? pride. What? Give me that. Give me that. Yeah, that's right. I'm the winner.